And now it's time for the Guy in the Booth Reviews. Hello everyone, it is James, the Guy in the Booth, with a lot of blackness around him, apart from a bit of red here or there. Now, I wanted to just do a quick update video because um, there's been some more Ghostbusters Afterlife news, and I've got a couple of things to, uh, to have a look at. That'll be fun. Something different for us today. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, CinemaCon happens this past week, or is still happening, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, Sony's presentation included, obviously, the Spider-Man teaser, which was then followed up by the entirety of Ghostbusters Afterlife. So it is out there. It is now out there in the wild. Um, and generally, the consensus is good. If you're a Ghostbusters fan of the originals, then yeah, mm, you're going to love this. Brilliant. I'm all in. Bit sad that there's not going to be any sort of things like that going around but um do you know what i have to, i was gonna wait till november anyway i'm still gonna have to wait till november unless i can get in and any sneaky previews but i i doubt it in the uk we don't have things like cinema con or, or so uh we won't be able to to look at something like that but that is not the important thing the film is looking like it's going ahead sony have confirmed that they that it, they are still planning to go for november the 11th and i am Still all in on that. So that is grand. But what we wanted to do today is show a few bits and things. I say we, me, the royal we, you know. And the first and foremost is this, the uh, Ghostbusters Ghost Whistle. Now, um, this this has been reviewed by Ghostbusters News, um, but it's a very unique item. So I thought I'd give it a go myself. Uh, and uh, what we've got here is... Obviously, we've got the new packaging. I've just taken it out. It wasn't magic. I just had already pre-cut the box. Anyway, um, so yes. And what we see here is the ghost whistle. Uh, here we go. Uh, imagine scaring off spooky spirits with the Ghostbusters. And then there's other languages as well, which basically says exactly the same thing. Uh, it fits nicely onto the new proton pack that they are producing, or they've produced, which is not available yet in the UK. But here we go. So... First of all, it's not, it's it's small, it's plasticky, it's it's very lovely. Um, for what it is, <laughs> it's it's a kid's toy at the end of the day. Um, and uh, from what I understand, it's, yeah, it's just very nice and simple. What, whether or not we will see something along these lines in Afterlife, I don't know. Probably, I hope so. Otherwise, this could be one of those, one of those things that you just, that I own and, uh, now uh we have to think we just i just have it it's part of my collection um yeah but yeah it's 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 quite nice it it's got the the logo there along with uh readings i guess is the what you can say about that and one thing that someone has pointed out to me is it is a whistle it's meant to be a whistle but it, it's just nothing there that goes nowhere see see that goes nowhere um so but it has got things like it it's got trusty attachments, which means you give it a cut of black paint or something, and suddenly that looks like a nice little addition to uh, any cosplaying you're doing. But the key thing about this is, is the noises that it makes. And as you can see, it's got a big wheel here. And on this wheel, you will see there are there's, there's Stay Puff there, and there's all the the, the cards uh, that Beckman refers to in the first film. So you've got a Stay Puffed, you've got a Muncher, You've got a Zool and you've got a Slimer on there. And this is, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just nice. Um, <laughs> and the best part about this is the noises it makes. Of, of course I've had a play. Of course I've had a play. Um, the first one, uh, let's, 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 let's just start. What, we, what am I on at the moment? It's a Slimer. So if I just go to, let's just go across one to the plus sign. That sounded very much like a Slimer noise to me. Now, from what I understand, it's got 15 plus noises, which could be anything from 16 to, you know, a thousand. Um, if it had a thousand noises, I'd be very impressed. But uh, I pro it's probably got closer to 20 noises. But yeah, it just keeps... Some of the noises are genuinely terrifying on this, I've noticed, but you did... 
a deranged man shouting. It's 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 great for something like that. There was no need for that. But if you imagine sort of doing this sort of thing going Brilliant. I mean that would scare me off if I was a ghost because I would be sitting there going, What the hell is that guy doing? But I didn't do that. There was nothing in that from me. Um, and yeah, so it's a unique item. It's not. It's nothing fancy. Um, it's just. It's just nice to have, really. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of these sort of items going about. So as I say, there's the proton pack, which, having seen the pictures, this is a significant size. Uh, we've got the new wand, which um, and the 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 modded wand. Do you want to stop that now? Um, and they're coming uh, soon. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I've got the wand coming soon, which will be good. But that will come in another video with something else. And yeah, this is just a really, really nice little bit of kit. It's, it's let's say, if you wanted to mod it, I guess what you could do is you could spray it, activate it with, with lights. I'm not sure what you want to do with it, but I'm sure some people will. I'm sure it will look amazing when people do. If I had the technical capability, <laughs> and additional sound effects, it doesn't like me saying it's going to be uh, amazing. It just wanted to do its own thing. But the main thing I wanted to talk about here um, is this. Ooh, hey, is the amazing Ghostbusters box? I don't know if you heard that. The amazing Ghostbusters box. This is, uh, yeah. A random mystery box that I picked up from um, a movie store in in Norwich, where I'm from, and yeah, it promises. I think it says five items. Uh, some of them said no teas, and I was definitely not down for that. But we'll we'll just have a look. We'll just have a look and see what we've got in here. So it is already pre-done. So let's uh, just oh 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 oh. As you see, I have opened it, and <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, first and foremost, what have we got here? Well, let's go with the obvious. The mug. Who are you going to call? Lovely. Heat activated mug. mug. The heat reveal will uh, do that. It's a yeah, pretty standard standard kind of licensed Ghostbuster affair, Ghostbusters affair. And that is what you get with the heat activation. Not very nice. Nice start. A nice start. Um... Moogly bum, uh, and then you have a squeezy moogly. It has squeeze me on it. And the batteries are gone. <laughs> but, very nice little thing. <laughs> Not that I needed it, because I have plenty of uh, slimers, but there's this fella here, who is actually adorable. Um, it's a super cute plushie. And he is, he is super Look at, look at him. Look at him. He's great. And he's, Slime, I love the fact Slime has become so smiley and so wonderfully um, cute. I blame the real Ghostbusters for that, but he's no longer this sort of evil thing that, that's going to sort of slime you and then disappear off and eat all your food and drink all your liquor. He's just, he's just wonderful. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep the lid from falling here. Um, what we've got here, I think, yes, yeah, yeah. It's a t-shirt I may already own. There you go. Lovely retro-esque logo. Um, I do, I do already have this. This is a Loot Crate. It says Loot Crate exclusive. It's not, because the fact you can readily buy this now. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I now have two of those, and my wife has the other, which is always fun. And finally, and finally, we have the <laughs> Mo My Moji. My Moji, Ghostbusters Special. And you can get in these, you can get uh, anything from Slimer, Ray, Peter. Peter's a bit basic, but I love his quiff. Um, uh, Stay Puffed. Yeah, I think that's the four you get. Yeah, okay. Because it's the same on the back. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Stay Puffed looking far too happy. So let's see. Gotta guess it's just by feeling it. 
Oh, actually, just by feeling it, I don't know. But if it's a Slimer, it will just be a welcome addition to my Slimer collection. Hurrah. Uh, okay. I tell you what, though. It's a Ray, and I'm incredibly happy about that. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Just... That'll, that'll sit nicely somewhere. That's the beheaded Ray wearing the, the goggles and everything. Brilliant hair. It's a great thing. That's a lovely little thing. And how did I forget this? This is the mini figurines. Now, I've got a ray of one of these. So, and you get you kind of like your odds of getting who and what. So, if I get a Slimer or a... Actually, no, if I get any of the... the uh, if I get... Oh, who have we got here? I get Library Ghost. That's the that's the rarest or uh, or Goza. They are the two rarest ones on here. I'll be very happy if I get one of those. If I don't get any of the Ghostbusters, I'll be very very happy. Um, mainly because I just just need a bit more variation in my life of, of of all the other ones. Because there's plenty of models out there. I mean, I've got that'll be the whistle on the floor. That'll probably go off in a minute. Um, I've probably got. I've got a I love a Lewis. I haven't got much Lewis. I haven't got much of him. But here we go. It's really warm in this booth. Can you tell? Um, so. Da, 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 da. And who have we got in this box? Oh. Well put together. It is going to be another bag. Ah. Making me work for this one. Do, 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 do. And I tell you what, it's a Dana. <laughs> it's the Keymaster Dana. That's really cool. I mean, that's that's really lovely because I don't think I have any Dana either. I haven't got much of Dana, even if I do. But so now I've got a little Dana, and she was a one in twelve chance, thirty six chance. So actually, she was higher than a Stay Puft or a Slimer. Um, her and Lewis were the, the only ones. So that's, that's cracking. So that box cost me 20 pounds, 20 pounds. And I've clearly got more than a lot more than 20 pounds worth there. I'm not going to go on and, and, and Google each how much it was because that would just make me sad. But that is, that's quite a haul. And I'm quite impressed with that. I'm very happy with that. So yeah, there it is. My mystery box was well worth it. Aside from the t-shirt, it was well worth it. Um, that t-shirt that I have already, but if I didn't, this would be a brilliant box. Um, I know those, those these little figures were on sale for a fiver and that sort of thing. So, you know, I probably have got my money's worth on that one just by buying a random box. So, as I alluded to earlier, uh, the, uh, the one this should be arriving this week um and will be in my next video as with with something else that is due to come out uh very very soon so um yeah keep your eye out for that but if i see anything else if i hear any more i i cannot wait um it's just just a, it's just a waiting game now uh till november so you know i'll either keep buying stuff or i'll have to stop for a bit <laughs> Just to see if anything new comes out. Anyway, from my warm, warm booth, I've been James in his booth. Guy in the booth. Um, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.